a strong man is going to visit your house today. And luckily, he's not going to beat you up and take your money. That's good. He's actually going to help you with all of your programming wonders. And this guy's name is Vim Plugins. And by far, he is the greatest part about Vim. He's wonderful at parties. All the ladies love him. He, You want to be friends with this dude. So these plugins allow you so many more options that are allowed than in just like regular basic vanilla Vim. Because so many people smarter than you and me have made these crazy great add-ons that just let you do magic. Real fucking magic. So uh, why don't we just get started? One of the things I'd recommend really with these is that uh, you should use a package manager instead of just installing every plugin individually because they kind of have a tendency to muddy up your file system if you're not careful. So these package managers will just make it a lot easier. Let's talk about Neo Bundle because that's the one that I, uh, I use and I like it. Actually, we can just go over to GitHub for the Neo Bundle page and uh, we can start installing it by running this command here that's in the readme. By the way, you need curl for this to work. If you don't, you can install it. We're always open. I'll be back. Uh, I'll be here when you get back. So uh, copy paste this. It goes fast for me because I already ran this. But now uh, Neo Bundle is installed on our machine. Voila! Now we need to go and start putting some stuff into our VimRC, right? That will um, tell Neo Bundle which plugins we want to install. So let's uh, open that up. We'll Vim our VimRC. And uh, we will paste this stuff in, this magic code that's actually just in the readme in the GitHub page. So don't worry. Don't sweat yourself. Uh, we'll just save this for now. All right. So there's a lot of stuff here. But the main thing you got to know is just where it says uh, call Neo Bundle begin. Uh, everything from the start of this to the end of this where it says Neo Bundle end. Everything in between. This is where all of your plugins will go. So um, you actually you kind of see that Neo Bundle here is um, you know being managed by Neo Bundle, oddly enough. Inception. So uh, we can tell Neo Bundle to install something by putting in the Neo Bundle command, just Neo Bundle like that, uh, followed by the URL to whatever thing it is. And let's install Easy Motion. Why not? Because Easy Motion is far and away the best thing that's ever happened to humankind, and we would be stupid to not want to use that with Vim. So um, let's go over to the GitHub page for for Easy Motion then, and we can just copy the URL there uh, and put it here back once again into here. So let's save and quit. Now, when we open VimRC, when we open Vim in general, just back up, uh, because we don't have these installed, you will likely see something that asks you, would you like to install these? And I think you kind of do, right? So let's just say yes and install. And then we'll just wait here, staring at each other awkwardly until it's done. All right, well, that's fast. Okay, good. So, because frankly, you're not very good conversation. So let's uh, get back in here and see what happened. By the way, uh, if that did not install for you, uh, once you open up Vim again, if it didn't like, you know, ask you, you can uh, type in colon neo bundle install like that. And uh, this one just says, oh yeah, you've already installed your shit. So whatever, leave me alone. Okay, now neo bundle, uh, neo bundle has installed easy motion for us and now we're ready to rock. So we can hit leader, leader, W. Leader is backspace, backslash because we haven't mapped one, and that's what it is by default. Whatever. And uh, we can hit now any one of these like highlighted letters to instantly jump there. Uh, so if we want to go to where it says uh, Shogo, uh, there we can hit F. And you see, bam, just like that. And do you see what happened? This is hyperdrive for text editing. Like... Nobody else does this, especially not people who use like plain as vanilla Neo, uh, Neo Bundle Notepad. They don't know. They don't know. So remember, leader, leader, W to go forward, leader, leader, B to go back. And so if we want to go to where it says, um, I don't know, uh, finish up there, we can hit uh, semicolon E and we go bam right there. All right. One final thing before I let you go and play. Um, if you ever don't want a plugin anymore, I don't know why you would uninstall Easy Motion, but if you do, uh, let's go down to that line. Okay, so let's let's delete that. If you want to uninstall it, so we would delete it. Uh, let's save and quit. Open Vim back up. Now uh, it's still in our file system, so we have to tell Neo Bundle to get it out. So we can hit Neo Bundle clean. Uh, ask if we want to remove it, and we say yes, and now it is just gone, gone. So if we hit, um, you know, backslash, 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 W, if we hit the commands, they don't work. So it's all nice and cleaned up for us. So go out there, find some plugins. They're, they are legion. There's uh, Fugitive, which is fantastic for just 
messing around with Git and like making commits lightning quick. Uh, by the way, you need Git in order to use NeoBundle, and if you're not using Git, you're wrong. So um, there's that. Uh, there's like Control P, which is great for like letting you find your files using fuzzy search and opening them super quick. It's there's so many good things to be found. We'll co we'll cover those in other episodes, but for now, I think this is enough for you. I'll see you next time, sweetheart. Bye.